Nanio's diligently looking through her fragmented notes. Cross this out, rewrite that from scratch. This needs some improvement. And this can stay as is. Although, no, rewrite this too. She raises her head. Ah, it's you. Will you tell me about yourself now after all that's happened? After all that's happened, it's you who should be telling me about myself in case I decide to forget anything. She blinked several times. But no, as of now, I haven't forgotten anything, I think. Have you remembered anything about your past? More than I ever wanted, and probably less than I would like, since you're asking me about it. Naniel sighs. I remember a woman from Tianzia. She was a cultist of Ereskigal who managed to find a way to reach the Enigma. She stood before the faceless Sphinx, took an oath, and dissolved into a blissful nothingness. Totally unremarkable, as biographies go. Her consciousness and mine have nothing in common. I simply make use of her body and retain some of her memories. Someone with an interest in spiritualism might call it remembering a past life. Here's an interesting fact. Physically, I'm approximately 4,000 years old, give or take a few centuries. By the way, did you know that in several developed cultures, old age is considered a sign of wisdom and a reason to revere a person and fulfill all of his or her wishes, even if said geriatric is suffering from senility? <laughs> Let's conduct a little experiment. Bring me a watermelon, a blue one, one that goes cock a doo doo for a few seconds, Naniel stares at you intently. Then she sighs and starts taking notes on a piece of paper she produces from her sleeve. The experiment resulted in failure. <laughs> Did you remember your real name too? Naniel nods and is silent for quite a while. You know, I cannot say that I approve of Ariskagal's circumlocutory rhetoric, but in this particular case, she has a point. A name is just a set of sounds. It makes a little difference if I go by the name Nanio or Onin or some other collection of sound vibrations produced by vocal cords. My real name, it is Ordinary. There's nothing special about it. I doubt I would ever be able to associate it with myself. I should probably forget it, but for some reason, I'm keeping it in my memory for now. Perhaps I'm simply growing old and making spontaneous displays of sentimentality? Are you still forgetting things that you consider irrelevant? Nania rubs her nose. Eh? Were you asking about something? A mischievous twinkle flickers in her eyes. You're not going to stop writing your encyclopedia and conducting your experiments, are you? How could you ever ask such a question? Just because Nanyo's become a bit disheartened and had a moment of weakness, you think you'll be getting a little holiday? No, 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 my loyal follower. Nothing is going to save you from new experiments. Well, that's understandable. Understandable is good. I do so love it when things are understandable. Back there in the Enigma, you called me by my name. Have you decided to remember me after all? Boy, what are you talking about? Your statement is absurd. That just couldn't have ever happened. The chances of such a thing occurring are 0.01%. She looks around and lowers her voice. And I'll ask you not mention it again. A scientist of my standing must be above such things as irrational sentiment and mundane affections. Even the fellow on the street knows that one's reputation is everything. I have to go.